Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm KRX and we're looking at another feature of Traffic Manager Mod. This time we're going to take a look at the junction restrictions. So this is another toolkit or tool that we have in our tool belt. If we find on the second row, if we find the junction restrictions button, we can highlight that. And when we go through it, we're going to notice that nothing really changes on the screen until we actually hover over a junction. So we can hover over the different junctions here, the points at which the different roads meet. And, and we can click on these and we can start to get um, some sort of different like icons showing up. Uh, some of these are like, you know, this will allow one ways. So now cars can actually, uh, sorry, U-turns. I'm sorry, I apologize. Sorry, U-turns. So cars will be able to come through here and do a U-turn from this point. Now, usually cars won't need to do this just because why would they be on this road if they're just gonna be going back the other way instead? But there might be a situation, you know, depending on how you design your roads and stuff, there might be a particular point where it's like, hey, I actually wouldn't mind if cars actually did U-turns here. You could allow that. Uh, this will allow cars to do that thing where they change lanes in the middle of, the, uh, <laughs> of their time in the intersection. So this allows them inside the intersection to be swerving lanes and stuff like that. Typically, you're not going to need that on, but uh, again, there might be a situation where you want to do that. I don't usually hit these two buttons, but there you have it. This is the flow setting. So this means that cars can still move into an intersection that is full, and it can still move into an intersection even if the segment that they're moving to is full. So this is really good for when one-way roads are like moving into... Like, like if this road is only moving into here, like if there's no turning off of this road, it'd be good to have the flow setting. Because even if this gets piled up, it doesn't matter because um, getting them through is going to be is going to be more important than having them stop here and have this all get junked up because they're stopped here. It's um, it's weird because, yeah, because this can cause the intersections to become junked up, but if not, if you've gone through with the lane, uh, not if you've gone through with the lane movement. And made it so that these these people move into separate lane systems right so if we've isolated their movement through the through the intersection then going through here and allowing them to continually flow through is fine because they're going into a lane that only they are going into no one else is going into this lane so having them continually flow and not have to stop for for oncoming traffic or, or freeze or hesitate or anything like that could be a really good thing. This is something I like to use roundabout entrances and exits and stuff like that. It's very important to turn the flow setting on. Something I use all the time uh, in different situations on the uh, during the live streams, but it's kind of hard to explain this unless we were actually talking about, um, you know, fixing a specific traffic issue that we could find. Uh, the last thing that we haven't mentioned, right, is the pedestrian movement so we can actually restrict pedestrian movement of course if we restrict them here they're just going to go to the next place where they can cross unfortunately as you can see this does not actually remove the crosswalk itself that's one of the big disappointments crosswalk is still here however they are not allowed to use it and they are not effectively it is not there visually it's there but gameplay wise it's not there we have disallowed them from using it that could be kind of a problem because pedestrians still need to get around. So now instead of crossing there, pedestrians are just gonna walk down here and cross here instead. That could offload pedestrian traffic to other intersections and cause issues in other inter intersections. But I promise you, if you have a busy intersection, look at these cars like going through here. Could you imagine if these cars were backed up and trying to get through, but they can't because there's so much pedestrian traffic? In major city, in the major urban areas of your city, I promise that pedestrians are causing traffic issues. I, getting rid of the pedestrians will will free up the cars to move more more smoothly through these intersections, and create a much higher traffic flow. Problem is, the pedestrians need a way to get around too. So at that point, if you are going to restrict, if you are going to restrict the pedestrians, what you're going to need to do is actually create a a uh, system for them to move through regardless but you can see they're still moving through here and if this if there were more pedestrians because it's still more efficient for them we can see that yep these cars are slowing down because of these pedestrians see so this is not a foolproof thing until we have traffic manager mod with traffic manager mod we can go in here and we can actually remove them from the lower crosswalk force them to use the sky bridges and that means that now they all are going to use these so we've now forced the ai to have to use these even if it's a little bit of an inconvenience for them to backtrack to go up to here to then go to here to then backtrack like if they're trying to get from this building to this building it's true they now have to go all the way around right but it's still they will be willing to do that that's not going to affect their desire to make that walk it's just going to mean that they're not going to take the shortest way anymore they're going to take the infrastructure that we built for them 
So that's actually really, really, really important. And, uh, and heck, you know, we can see that there's a huge amount of pedestrian traffic here. And it's, it's very negatively affecting this car's ability to move. We can restrict them here. Again, that means that these pedestrians now can't cross, which is kind of a problem. So we can come in here and we could just create a simple, a simple system to tie this in. So now when they get off the subway, they can go up into here and that can get them to this area, that can get to this area, and they get to these areas too. So now we've we've moved all of the pedestrian traffic up into the Sky Network. Fantastic. I mean, that's going to fix traffic through here massively if there actually was traffic issues. So that one's a, just an incredibly powerful tool to be able to limit uh, pedestrian movement. I mean, heck, when it comes to roundabouts, you might just not want, uh, especially like over here, you probably just don't want people crossing these. You just don't want pedestrians around this area at all, right? Like, so if some crazy pedestrian has the idea to be crossing around here, you probably just don't want that at all. So you could completely restrict them from crossing on these in these roundabout areas and stuff like that. Of course, we don't really see any pedestrians out here, but just in case, right? Just in case we could do that uh, and so on and so forth. But that is the junction restrictions. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit less impactful than some of the other tools that that are a little bit more uh, widespread use. But there's still some really powerful tools in here, and I use this stuff all the time, especially the, the uh, pedestrian restrictions and the, um, the flow setting are two that I use constantly. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this uh, tutorial for the junction restrictions for Traffic Manager Mod. I will see you guys in the next one, where I think we are finally going to tackle the custom-timed traffic lights. This is a big one, and I will see you guys next time.